Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunamis Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. So glad you could see, uh, to see you today. It's a nice morning, it's late spring, and you know what? That's great time for the boatless angler to catch lake choke. Late spring or spring and winter are two just fantastic times for the boatless angler to hook into lake trout. Now lake trout normally go in the deeper, colder water, and that's why in the summer they're down 100 feet deep or so, but in the winter, December, and in the spring, the boatless angler has a chance to hook into some really, really nice lake trout, and that's what I'm gonna do today, folks. I'm gonna run the new Sting Eye Spinner, the size number four Sting Eye Spinner, and uh, if I hook into one, and I hope I do, uh, I'll explain you the technique that I'm using to try to catch these lake trout today. And of course, because I'm using a spinner, the sting eye, I could catch also other species as well. But uh, it's lake trout that we're targeting. So, uh, so glad you could join me, folks, and uh, we'll see if we can get into fish or two. There we go, folks. There was a nice hit. So, what happened? The reason I opened up with the gold earlier is because the sun wasn't quite up yet. But once the sun came up, I said, I'm going to switch over to silver or silver chartreuse. So I grabbed the silver chartreuse because now that it's uh, much brighter, I want that extra reflection. I like the gold under darker conditions. And wham, I got my first hit. Now, the reason I said the lake trout fishing in the winter and the spring for the boatless angler is because the water's still very cold in the winter and the spring close to shore and the lake trout are coming in looking to feed. But what happens in the summer, in the summer they're gone and they head out to deeper water, uh, 100 feet plus, and that's it for the boatless angler, no more lake trout. Now I'm assuming it's a lake trout, it could be something else, but he's fighting like a lake trout. It feels like a decent size. So once we land them, I'm gonna explain the technique I was using for this fish, which is very effective when you're boatless angling for lake trout. Oh yeah, this is a good fish, folks. Now I'm also running 10 pound test line. I'm running 10 pound braid and only because it's really thin and it allows me to cast, make long casts. But of course I've got a fluorocarbon leader. But the fluorocarbon leader that I'm running is 15 pound. I went a little heavier because I'm working this lure close to the bottom and I want to make sure that it doesn't get nicked up and break off easy. So I went a little heavier with my fluorocarbon leader. And it is a nice lake trout, folks. For the boatless angler, it's a beauty. Now if I can get him in. Oh yeah, that's a nice lake trout, folks. If you catch a trout like this from shore, it's unbelievable. If I can see if I can net this guy. <laughs> it's a good fight and a great day. It's always fun when you're in the fish. Beautiful lake jolt, folks. Oh, that's a dandy. I think I might have him tuckered out. I do, and he's in the bag, folks. Yes, indeed. That is a nice lake choke. Very, very nice laker. Wow, that's, he's over 10 pounds, that's for sure. <laughs> folks, I said 10 pounds, this guy's closer to 15. That's a big, thick lake choke right there, folks, for the boatless angler. Beautiful, beautiful lake choke. He's gotta be all of 15 pounds. Okay, let's get him right back in again. He's thick. I don't know if you can see how thick that back is, but look at how thick it is. It's like that thick. Okay, it'll just take a minute to revive him. I tuckered him right out. There we go, a nice gentle release. Beautiful. Usually, on the release, 
They usually give me a good shower with the tail splash, but not today. Okay, let me get this lure out and let's talk about technique. So the first thing I did, folks, after that fish, I just ran my finger along the line there, and it was a little bit nicked because he was banging around in the rock. So I just cut off, uh, you know, about six, seven inches and retied my uh, my lure. So now I'm good to go again, and it's always good to check your line just to make sure there's no nicks in it because it weakens it significantly. So the technique, folks, for these lake trout is a little different than the steelhead. For the steelhead and the, rain the rainbows, I would basically start reeling in nice and slow with the rod tip down low. But for the lake trout, I like to really keep it close to the bottom and just slow rolling that lure along the bottom, just barely moving it and slow rolling it just like that, move it up a little, keep it on the bottom just ever so slightly just a slow what i'm going to call a slow roll just along the bottom and they see that spinner flashing and that big eyeball and they just attack it so oh that was the bottom so that's good you want to be close to bottom and then what happens when you come in a little bit closer and you're about you know two-thirds of the way in just start cranking and bring it in because you're uh, you're getting closer to shore those lake trout are not that close to shore but all the rocks are and uh, you want to definitely avoid the rocks so that's the technique I'm gonna call it uh, and it's a technique that Antonio our boatless angler likes to use a lot and it's uh, basically what it is it's slow rolling your bait right along the bottom a nice slow roll and enticing that bite so let it count count it down usually depending on the depth you'll find out where the bottom is and then just begin a real, real slow retrieve, stop, move the line towards you, just kind of keeping that lure right on the bottom, just spinning just off the bottom because that's where the lake trout are and that's where their strike zone is. So unlike a steelhead that'll come up and hammer a bait, you want to keep your lake trout lures really close to the bottom. So that's the technique, slow rolling just like so folks. If you get an opportunity, give the slow rolling method a try. It's working for me, it'll work for you. It's a great technique for lake trout. I've got a whole day ahead of me and a nice sunny day. So I'm hoping to get into some more fish, but in the meanwhile, folks, so glad you could join me. Always a pleasure to see you, and as always, until next time, good luck and good fishing.